Hello, David Clark here from DVC Training, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to draw a line on a map inside of Edius. I did a video on how to do this inside of VizTitle, which is a nice titling program add-on for Edius, which is better if you've got it. But if you haven't got it, here's a way you can achieve the same thing with Edius. This is the effect I'm going to go after, where you draw a little line on a map to show a route. So how did I achieve it? Well, first thing I'm going to do is just start off a new sequence. And I'm going to take this picture, which basically I downloaded off the internet, which is a map of Brighton, which is quite close to where I am situated. Just going to take it and make sure it fits. And I'm going to do a little route down here to somewhere. First thing I need to do is I need to draw the route. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that map and I'm going to make a copy of it. So I'm going to grab hold of it start dragging and then hold down on the control key so it makes an exact copy above it. Obviously I'm going to need a line and it's going to have to appear over time. Now I could just pop into Photoshop or a painting program and draw a line on this map. That would be fine. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to actually do everything inside of Edius. So I've taken a mask filter and I've dropped it on the top version of this. What I'm going to do is draw a little line which just goes along the map to somewhere and let's just pop up here and maybe go down to the pier. So I'm just clicking around. Now I've drawn the one line, but I've got to go all the way back so I can make a nice sort of tube, if you like. Okay. Might have slightly missed it at the end there. Let's just zoom in a bit. Use the hand to move over. And having my mask selected, I'm just going to pop up to the arrow and say edit shape. And yep, yeah, okay, I managed to, when I did that thing at the end there, I clicked directly on it and I really needed another point there. So I'm going to go down here, choose add vertex, add in a point, go back to edit shape, and then move that point so it's up here. Now you can have curvy points or you can have straight points. At the moment I've just made them straight points, which kind of fits my map, but if I wanted curvy points I could do it. You notice this one's coming in as a curvy point with these little handles where you can move it around and make curves. Don't really want that. So let's go up here, choose edit point, click on it, and it makes it a straight point. That thing at the bottom, if you click on a straight point, it makes it a curvy point. If you click on a curvy point, it makes it a straight point. Let's go back to edit shape. Yep, there we are. I have now got a line on a map. Next thing I want to do is I want to highlight that in some kind of color. So I'm going to go to where it says inside and then filter. Click on that. Go to the list of filters and choose one called block color. Click on this little stack here, and then I can choose the settings for it. So let's make it sort of reddish. Yep, and now you can see I have got a line, which might need a bit of tweaking in certain places, but I've got a line there which goes down my road. Might be quite nice to soften it up a little bit, so let's just soften the edges slightly, just by clicking the soft button and then turning up the, the settings there. And I probably need to refine it a bit, so let's just pop into this area down here where... I really was a bit zoomed out, so I couldn't quite see what I'm doing. And I think, yeah, I need to refine that. So let's come on here and uh, move this around so I have my points in the right places for the line. Now, all this is irrelevant if you're going to draw your line in Photoshop or a painting program. You're going to need another point in there. Let's go out here, add a vertex, click, go back to here, edit shape, move. And curvy one. Yeah, maybe a curvy one's okay there. I don't know. Actually, you probably need a curvy one there, so let's change that, put a curvy one in. There we are. So now I've got the shape that I want to do for my map, and now I want to reveal it. And I'm going to do that by adding another mask filter. So let's take another mask filter, pop it onto the clip, double click on the second one, and I'm now going to draw a much simpler shape. So it's going to start up here, and it's just going to basically encompass the whole thing. Now, what I want to do with that is I want to say inside that mask, make everything disappear. So inside that mask, I've got my red line. And because it disappears, I can now see through it to the other copy of the map underneath it. You know, if I turned off this layer, you notice I've got a big black hole. But because I've masked out the entire area where I draw the red line, now you can't see it. Now what I want to do is to go into there and animate that so I can reveal the line. So what I'm going to do is just going to keyframe this shape. So let's come down here right to the start of the timeline. I could just come in here and find the shape and then just tick keyframing for the shape. 
What I tend to do for speed is I just come down here and I click on that little button which turns on keyframing for everything and then I click on that button which puts in a keyframe for every single parameter of this shape. Don't need to actually I could just keyframe the shape but it's a lot easier just to click click. Now I'm going to pop through here and I'm going to move that shape around so it reveals the lines. I've got a thing which is what 16 seconds so let's go through about three seconds and say that's how long it takes to go down this road. So I've gone to about three seconds. I'm going to zoom in slightly so I can see it a tad better. I'm going to select the shape, then come up to the arrow and say edit shape. If you can remember A to switch into the edit shape mode, it's a lot quicker. And I'm just going to grab these two points and move them down there. And now when you look at that, you can see a red line is appearing as it goes through that section. I'm going to move on a little bit more. Let's see how long does it take to get down the main front road there. I know. No, let's make it go up to ooh, maybe nine seconds. And again, let's take that point, which is one side of it, and that point, which is the other side of it, and move it down there. Whee! Now you might notice here that the way those points are going, because at that point, you know, this one is here, the way those points are going, I suddenly get a slight kind of curvy thing. So I'm just going to go back to where that goes wrong. And let me see, let's say about there. Let's put them there. So there we are. In fact, let's get them level. So in fact, it goes around the corner, carries on. And obviously, you just tweak these as you need to, to get the kind of line you're after. Now I've got to get around the next corner. So that's probably going to be that. I'm going to have to move this point over now to make sure that I can see all of this lot. So I get around the corner. But why don't I move that one over there? You notice all these other points, they sometimes just get in the way. I put them on there so I could cover the whole shape up. But as long as I make sure that the bit that I want to see is not inside this shape, it doesn't really matter where these are. So there we are. Let's move up to this road here. And then let's move around here. And finally, ooh, let's go all the way to here where I've ended up at the pier. So let's move that one down there, that one down there. This thing's now in the way, so let's move it out the way and see what happens. Okay, so at this point, it could be really helpful if I had that out of the way. So let's move that out of the way. Yep, there we are. I've now got my line drawn on there. So just a little bit of fiddling with those points to make sure that that mask shape was animated to reveal my wiggly path. Might want to put a bit of softness on that as well just to soften up the very end there. You probably can't see it on the YouTube video, but it was a very, very sharp end there. So if I soften that up a bit, you might see I get a bit of a fuzzier edge there. And that's it. I have now got a line animated on a map and I can control where it got to, which part of the road and at what time and how long it took. So if I'd drawn that line in something else, obviously I wouldn't have had the first mask. I just had the second mask revealing the image with the line on it. If I wanted to get even fancier and have a zoom on this map as I'm moving around it, then what I could do is make up another sequence. Take the sequence I've just made and put it into it. It would be jolly handy if I'd name these things instead of leaving them all at sequence 1, 2, 3 and 4. And then use the layout on that to actually do a zoom into the map. So now you can see I've got my path on a map going at the same time as the zoom in. As I say, I did do a tutorial about doing this with VizTitle, and I think VizTitle has better options because you could stick a car or something at the end there and you can make it look a bit nicer. But that's how I would do it if I was just using EDIUS on its own. If you want to see more tutorials about other programs, not just EDIUS, please visit my YouTube channel. You can also find out more information about DVC training on the DVC training website, which is www.dvctraining.co.uk. Also on the website, you can get a link to order copies of EDIUS 9, which has just been released. I'll also put a link for you in the description below where you can order EDIUS 9 if you're in the UK. If you follow me on the Facebook page, you'll see some more information on news on what's going on in the world of digital video. Also email me, david at dvctraining.co.uk with suggestions for any more short tutorials like this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.